Bro, people are sleeping on Korean, man. People are sleeping on Korean. Like if I want to get it graded, I could easily get a 10 on that. So in today's video, I'm going to be continuing my chase for the Umbreon VMAX Alt Art. And for that, I'm going to open another two boxes of Korean EV heroes. Now, as the old saying goes, in order to receive, one must give. So in that spirit, I'm also going to be giving away a bunch of cards to my subscribers, including an entire master set of common, uncommon and rare holo cards from this set, along with these three beautiful Umbreon cards, which is the Umbreon V, the Umbreon V Max, and the Umbreon V Max Secret Rare. And if you want to enter this giveaway, all you have to do is number one, hit that like button. Number two, make sure that you're subscribed with bell notifications on. And number three, leave a comment in the comment section below. And we're just going to get right into these booster boxes. I'm just going to rip these open. All I know is that the SAR is not guaranteed in these. That's 30 packs of Korean EV heroes. And this is just the first box. They even have a tab to tear. All right, so first impressions. This is a really nice pack. Let's see if this tab works. Oh, we, we start off with an EV. That's a good sign. And a hollow. Okay, so there is no pack trick. Okay, so the last card is the hit. I mean, if you're fine with Japanese cards, Korean is not that different. I'm hoping there are some guaranteed hits in this, like the Japanese booster boxes. This tab is like almost pointless. I'm extremely pleased with this quality. The quality of the cards here are pretty good. And we start off with a Flareon V. Let's go. It's not the alt art, it's a regular Flareon V. Uh, the hollow foil is really nice. The centering is really nice. All right, that's the first hit of the set. Okay, so that's a U. It's uncommon. Okay. Oh, let's go! Vaporeon V. And another regular V, but it's a beautiful Vaporeon. Ooh, a Leafeon V Max. Wow. Quality on this is insane. How good does that look? This is such a good box and all the cards are in such pristine condition. Oh my God. Yo, that artwork is so good. I really think that people are sleeping on these Korean cards. At least now I have first-hand experience and I can say that with my first-hand experience that they do have the same quality. They seem to be printed really, really well. Extremely well, in fact. You have exactly the same artwork and the, and the move set. So even if you're just a player uh, who, who knows all the moves. Oh, Jolteon V. All right. Really popular, the EV would evolve to a certain evolution based on the name you gave it, and that's just that's a brilliant mechanic. I really hats off to Niantic for doing that, that was awesome. Both these booster boxes costed me around 10,000 rupees, which would I would say these cost me around like 110 to 120 dollars. So it costs absolutely nothing to enjoy this, especially if you're not looking at only value and investment and all that stuff. And we get the <gasps> Espeon Alt Art V. This looks beautiful, man. Look at the details in that. That is beautiful. First Alt Art pull. The detailing is stunning. Texture is amazing. Colors are good. Production quality is amazing. Absolutely no issues on the corners or centering or whitening. Bro, people are sleeping on Korean, man. People are sleeping on Korean. Like if I want to get it graded, I could easily get a 10 on that. Yo, Umbreon VMAX. Uh, this one is uh, uh, definitely for the furry boys.
and it's time for box number two. Let's go. Yeah, I was a little sus about this box because that thing is open, that flap was open, steel, but apparently this is a factory issue. Oh, I see a hit. We're gonna slow roll this. All right. I do like that slugma artwork. I love that mudkip artwork. A little cheeky. And we get the Jolteon V. Yo! What is that Jolteon doing? That is ridiculous, that texture. It's even got a little bit of the fish eye effect where the buildings are not really straight. Man, that's pretty cool. Who's the illustrator here? Nagi Miso. Well done, sir. Well done. That is a beautiful looking card. But yeah, the Moonbrion is now reaching almost $500, man. Raw. The Moonbrion Raw is $500 and that's an insane price for a card. So a lot of people are just buying Evo Skies to keep it sealed and honestly, I don't think I have it in me to keep it sealed. Like if I buy Evolving Skies, I'm going to be so tempted to rip it. I mean, $500 card, that's ridiculous. And on top of that, Umbreon? Because mm. again, oh, <laughs> I just spoke it into existence. Let's go. But, oh man, look at those eyes. Damn, the eyes shine so nicely in this. I think Neo Destiny was the set that released before I got in and Sky Ridge was the one that just recently released. So I remember the OG Moonbrion. I'm gonna try to put a photo of it here. I remember the OG Moonbrion. And man, that was that was like a very spicy card. And of course, the artwork was also much more mature. Like you can see, like the when the Vaporeon was, you know, more playful and a Jolteon and all these things. The Umbreon had this stance of extreme poise and you know maturity. So. There was always something about the Umbreon that appealed to everybody, even as kids. And there we go, we got the Glaceon. It does look a little derpy. I don't know why they're giving the Glaceon this haircut. <laughs> it looks like one of my friends from school who had that, you know, helmet cut. <laughs> hey, let's go! The Espeon V, regular art. So all it takes is two booster boxes. Let's see, let's see. I think there might be another two hits in this. I don't know what this is called. Oh, we gotta repeat. Is there no diversity in the hollow pool? Last two packs, guys. Let me know in the comments. Which of these do you think has the hit? And let's be honest, all right? Be honest. Whatever you guess, whatever you guess, you have to stick to it and you have to tell me whether you got it right or not in the comments. So let's open the right pack first. So this has an Eevee, if you like. Followed by a Glaceon V regular. Okay, so the right pack had a hit. Let's see if the left pack also has a hit. I think the right pack was the one. There. Oh, oh, the right pack also has a hit. Okay, then it's last pack magic starting with the Sewaddle. Going into the Meryl, followed by the Smeargle, and a trainer whose name I'm not sure of, but we see... Oh my god, what, what can this be? What can this be? Is this going to be an alt art? Please let it be an alt art. Give me one alt art to end this video with a bang. Boom. It's not the alt art, but we take those. We take those. Yo, this, this texture and this VMAX coloring is so, so nice. Both packs ended up having hits. Let's just leave these up and review the hits. We have the Jolteon V, we got the Vaporeon V, the Umbreon V, Glaceon V, Flareon V, and Espeon V. Then when it comes to the V Max, I picked up the Glaceon V Max, the Leafeon V Max, and the Umbreon V Max. When it comes to alt arts, I was able to find the Jolteon V and the Sylveon V alt art, which is very, very pretty. Absolutely love these two cards. Shout out to Nagimiso. Shout out to illustrator Sao Sao. Well, 
I was still not able to find that moon brion in this video. Maybe it'll happen in the next one. Maybe it'll happen within this year. I don't know. But I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this content, make sure to hit that like button. And if you guys want to check out some more content, you can click on one of these videos. Make sure to hit that subscribe button as well. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Till then, happy hunting.